What's up everybody, Jeremy here from Cross Canada. Today, we got a video showing you how to always win in online hacking in Watch Dogs. We got a bunch of tips and tricks, so let's get right into it. Our first strategy is called the Ring Around the Rosie. This is a very easy strategy and very effective. This involves just simply staying on the opposite side of another object and moving around it as your opponent moves around always staying on the other side and remaining in its blind spot. What we did here in the blue van is a great demonstration. We've also been able to do it in a cemetery with a brick wall as you can see here and we've also done it with a big white SUV just hanging out on the middle of the street. It's very good because when you approach against vehicles your character gets low and then they can't just directly see you so they'd have to walk up close and move the camera. But you can also also do it on um, really small vehicles which we've demonstrated here okay. just right in the middle of the street okay. and just hiding there because that's just how effective the ring around the rosy strategy is so our next strategy involves using this area of the map just right over here near the tunnels so this area of the map is really good because it forces players to not only search on the upper part but also to search in the lower area in the underground so this is a great way to double the amount of search area and hiding area. So as you can see, I'm just hopping down from launching it from up top. This allows the players that are hacked to think that I'm up top when I'm really below. So you can see that this tunnel right here is a great contrast. If you put your car here, they won't know if you're up top or down below. So it's a very effective strategy if you want to confuse your opponent by parking your car in an ambiguous location to just illustrate how effective underground hiding is and above ground is also very effective because you can do the ring around the rosy strategy and anything you want down or above ground and right here I'm going to be getting inside this vehicle to allow me to place it down near the tunnel entrance so it'll look like I have gone down underground but I'll have just remained above ground just to confuse my opponent. This next strategy is super effective. I can't tell you how many games I've won just simply by using this technique. This technique involves getting on top of train terminals. So what makes this strategy very effective is the fact that the roof of the train terminal is pyramid shaped. So it's shaped like a triangle which allows you to move from one side to the other and just completely remain out of somebody's line of sight. So the train terminals all about have the same structure. Some you jump on the lower part, some you jump onto the higher part, but it allows you to just remain out of sight from your opponent. These are just uh, some games that we're going to run here showing just how effective it is. So in these next two clips uh, you can just see that we've just been standing on top of the train terminals and just watching our opponent walk around. Uh, in this one I advise not jumping off train terminals because you might be jumping from a point where you could die. This next strategy involves using unconventional locations to hide in. Watch Dogs has a lot of nature, so you should use it to the full advantage. Here I'm hiding inside uh, a nice little hedge to remain hidden. And you can also use flower bushes because they're gigantic and it allows you to remain completely uh, uh, obstructed from view. But you might be saying to yourself, hey, Jeremy, it's raining. I don't want to catch a cold. Well, you can always head inside. There are many buildings inside Watch Dogs that you can walk into and remain completely obstructed because not many people realize that you can walk right in. So they'll just spend the entire time looking around outside the building and they'll never once think that they can just walk inside the building you're in. Another really great strategy is using hacking in order to get into locations that you wouldn't be able to normally reach. So this makes it a very defensive position because if they decide that they want to look up top where the lift is, they're going to call for it. And when they do that, you can use a CTOS blackout to prevent them from actually being able to get up to where you are. And then you can use that time to look for a safe way down so you don't just run off the building and kill yourself. Um, but if you're like me, you realize that maybe one lift is not going to be enough to protect you from your opponent. Maybe you want to take the next step and that's where using CTOS access towers comes into play. 
So on this one, I'm actually hacking into a CTOS tower location that I've done in single player, so I know how to get in. So it just involves unlocking this door and then just heading over to this lift and taking it up to the upper area. And then I'll be able to just hide near the CTOS tower that's completely obstructed from view. And if I hear somebody calling the lift, I'm just going to use my CTOS blackout and just prevent them from being able to get into it. The CTOS blackout lasts a long time, so always, always go into matches with a full step, full stop of blackouts. They're very, very effective. So now that we move on to the roof section of this, roofs are very good to hide on top of because many opponents will search down in the street and on in cars. They'll be looking for people hiding in standard hiding positions. They won't be looking for somebody who has decided that they want to go and hide in an incredibly complicated way to get to location. So right here you see me just hacking some of the security cameras much like I did in the last video. This is a very effective strategy because people aren't going to be looking for you to be going through locked doors that you have to unlock with cameras. So it makes it a very effective strategy to hide. And one of the important things though when you're on the roof is to take control of a camera that can see you. Usually there's one camera out there that is able to watch you from uh, just being placed high up on a, a neighboring building. So you want to always make sure that you're in control of a camera that can see you or maybe hiding behind a duck or a vent. I would like to take over the cameras because it's a little more exciting. You can watch your opponent search in vain for you. Uh, this one you can you might remember from doing some of the missions. Uh, this location is very good because it allows you to actually watch your flank. You're able to watch it from a flank. So you flank your flank, really. So and when you make your way down here, you're going to um, discover that you can cross this area over here onto a neighboring building. And then when you look down, you're able to just spot this uh, the lift that you used and the path that you took to get to where you are. So you can then jump down if they start figuring out that maybe you're up on the roof. Alright, another thing you can do is you can take a vehicle to get on top of a roof that you can't normally get onto. So right here you can see I'm using a uh, <laughs> nice truck with my phenomenal driving skills to get on top of this roof that you can't normally get onto. There are no uh, garbage bins or anything that you can jump on normally. The only way that somebody's going to be able to come up and get to me is by using that vehicle. So I'll be able to, re to keep my eyes on it and watch. And if somebody comes up then I'll just jump down because this roof's low enough that I won't die from falling. But if you want to really remain hidden, I suggest you do what I do. And that is take your vehicle onto the roof that you want to get to. So here you can see I'm driving up. Again, phenomenal driving skills that I have. Um, you can see that I'm going to just take the parking garage. And there's this nice little connector onto this roof of this building. So they're not going to be able to figure out where I am. And that's mainly the thing. They're going to be looking. They're not going to see a car. So they're just going to assume that I'm on foot down there somewhere. And they're just never going to be able to spot me. So let's take a, a quick look at things you should not do. One of the things you should not do is you should not jump out at your opponent to celebrate your victory. That's called counting your ducks or chickens before they lay. Whatever. Just don't do it. When you reach 100%, you're not at 100%. You're at 99.5% and you're going to lose. Another great thing, don't get caught on a wall next to a bunch of explosives because your opponent will just blow something up in anger and you'll just be standing there and then you'll lose the game at 98 percent i hear a car i hear a car oh shit 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 oh you hit me with the sky oh uh, uh, ah, he's gonna shoot <laughs> you see technically hasn't profiled me yet <laughs> Now I'm just of course going to let this audio run. This is from my live stream. Uh, I, I don't think that I could do justice. I think Jeremy in the moment can quite sum up just how terrible this opponent was. That I actually felt at the end I deserved extra points for not getting profiled by this player. It is just atrociously bad. <laughs> Oh my god! 
This guy is bad with a capital B A N D. And a capital exclamation mark. Oh shit, jump, 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 jump. <laughs> oh, he didn't come out. Oh, I jumped again. <laughs> Shoot it! Police! Oh, there he is. I'm so fucked if he comes over to me. Oh, please don't turn around. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He is so bad! So bad! Oh, I can just walk through all these little fire things. And that is how you want oh my god! Is there bonus points for that? So now that we've watched the world's worst watchdog player play, I fear maybe, maybe he just had a bad game. Maybe it's not fair to criticize somebody. Maybe, just maybe, someone such as me could have had a terrible, terrible performance. So we're just going to look at that. And here I thought I'm just going to hide here. He's going to go by, I'll hack him, and then I'll just hide. When he's turned into the alleyway, I knew I was so royally screwed. Here's some really quick tips. Get onto the train track, head down, away from the terminal, initiate it. They're not going to see the train terminal inside the circle, so they're going to assume you're not up there. They're going to be looking on the ground. Another thing you can do, use the shrinking circle to your advantage. The garage here is outside the circle, so they're going to be looking on the ground. They're not going to understand that I'm on top of a roof. And right here, you can see I'm at the end of two uh, alleyways that are not connected. It's a very effective strategy because they're going to be looking on the other side. Nice. That worked out beautifully.